Hey guys, how's it going? BCHD here. Welcome back to another career mode video on the channel. Today, we have Wolverhampton Wanderers recently promoted from the championship, winning the championship, being promoted into the Premier League for the 2018-19 season. And today in this FIFA 18 career mode experiment video, we're going to see if the Wolverhampton Wanderers can survive in the Premier League or are they going to get relegated straight back down to the championship for next season. So what I've done here is we're in the championship with Wolverhampton Wanderers. That is the current starting 11. We've got Calavero on the left, Jota and Costa there with the Portuguese front three. We are currently in the season that we are in right now and they're in the championship and we've simulated throughout the whole season we're up to the last game against Sunderland which they lose 2-1 which similar to what happened in real life they lost 3-0 but it didn't matter because Wolverhampton Wanderers just like they did in real life did in this FIFA 18 experiment and they were the champions of the championship with 89 points Nottingham Forest there with 88 two teams going up automatically then Aston Villa, Sheffield Wednesday, Fulham and QPR will be fighting for promotion. So this was the Wolverhampton Wanderers team that clinched them promotion in this simulation. It did get the job done. It did get them first place and we're going to see how it's going to shape up in the next uh, Premier League season as they did do a job but of course Jota and Ndeye are on loan. So this is the new Premier League side. It has a few changes to it. The same back six with Ruddy and goal. We do have Bonatini up front replacing Jota who was on loan from Porto. We got Sice in there because Ndeye was also on loan from another team so we still got the two Portuguese wingers up front we got Neves in the midfield there as well so we have a really comfortable team going into this Premier League season I'm confident that the Wolves boys can stay up with Bonatini up front kicking them in but we do have our first game against our promotion rivals probably our relegation rivals for this season as well we have Nottingham Forest at home at the Monolu Stadium, Nottingham Forest, fellow championship rivals for promotion and now they're going to be probably relegation rivals for relegation in the Premier League but we're going to see how this first game pans out against fellow uh, promotion rivals, they did come second, we came first by a point but it ends up being 1-1, we've got Cavalero there getting the equaliser in the 61st minute, Watson getting the goal in the 20th but we're going to see him halfway throughout the season see how they go and see how Wolves are doing right at January 1st it's 2019 the new year let's see how Wolves have fared throughout uh, just halfway throughout the season uh, usually a good indicator to see how teams will do uh, towards the end of the season but we just lost the game 2-1 to Man City there so things are not looking good Sice is injured our center midfielder but it's uh, we're sitting pretty in 15th 16 points we're pretty much one point or three points away from the drop um, we got below us is QPR Southampton just above the drop but Crystal Palace West Ham and our fellow rivals Nottingham Forest that we played our first match against are in the relegation zone right now but QPR they did win the playoffs last season to get that promotion to the Premier League they are just surviving like we are in 15th place and above us West Brom with 22 points but we do have Sice here with an injury. The Moroccan there is going to get replaced. But hopefully he's not out of the team for too long. As you can see, we've got a bit of depth. But a bit of players that don't have much Premier League experience like I offer in the substitutes there. But whatever we'll do, we'll put out our best starting 11 that we could possibly put. But we're going to simulate right to the end of the season to our game against West Ham United at home. This could prove to be a crucial match to see if we survive in the Premier League. If Wolves can make their return season a good one. As you can see here, we have survived there. 14th in the Premier League. We've done one better than we did in January. And we're going up to 14th with 37 points. We still have one game left to play. We've got 7 wins, 16 draws, and 14 losses, which is pretty decent. We've got a lot of draws, which helped us. But QPR and West Ham are still the teams that might be able to go down or might be able to stay up. We are versing West Ham on the final day. They need a win to stay in the Premier League. QPR need a win to stay in the Premier League and hope that West Ham drops points against us at home. So we still have a bit of final day drama on our hands here as we're up against West Ham to see if our fellow promotion rivals and playoff winners of last year's championship could survive the Premier League if they get a cheeky win. 
and West Ham dropped points here. We've got Costa making a 1-0. So West Ham not in a good position right now. But Costa, our Portuguese winger, is doing job, doing the job at the moment. Fernandes gets an equaliser in the 37th minute for West Ham. And we're well into the second half here against West Ham. But unfortunately, Arnautovic gets a 2-1. But Cavalera, our other Portuguese winger, gets a 76-minute goal. And as you can see there... QPR have won 2-1 against Nottingham Forest. West Ham dropped points. We're going to see who stayed up. And it was QPR by four goal difference. Stayed in the Premier League. West Ham are going to be playing championship football next season. Joining Crystal Palace and Nottingham Forest. But oh my god, what a final day that was. QPR getting a 2-1 away win against Nottingham Forest. And then we got that... 76 minute equaliser to make it 2 2 against West Ham and QPR stay in the Premier League via goal difference. What a season that would have been. But we look here to see our top goal scorers. Costa with 10 there is all we can see. Um, pretty much our top goal scorer there with assists. It also Costa with 6 and he was one away off getting the top assist with Ben Teke winning that one. But very, very decent season from Costa. We're going to look at the squad report and see how our players grew, how they performed throughout the season, and how um, maybe getting a meaning behind how the Wolves stayed in the Premier League on their return. Here's a quick squad report. John Ruddy is injured, but he did play uh, a few games for us. 71 rated there, 32 years old. He appeared 17 times. Pretty decent. We had a few backup goalkeepers to replace him. Doherty played 39 games, getting two goals, a big contributor in the survival. We've got uh, Cody there with 26, Bath there with 35 appearances. We've got Douglas, 39, Miranda, 31, Ruben Neves with 41 appearances, our maximum appearances there with four goals and two assists for the Portuguese center midfielder. We do have Ben Marshall getting four goals off the bench, didn't really play that much, but we do go through the team, Cavalero. 39 games, 8 goals and 3 assists. Solid season for his first season back in the Premier League. And Costa, arguably our best player of the season. Arguably why the Wolverhampton Wanderers stayed in the Premier League with 36 goals, 10, no, 36 appearances, sorry, 10 goals and 7 assists. Uh, Bonatini there getting 6 goals and 2 assists in 38 appearances. And that was pretty much all the main, the main players there. As you can see, Ruben Neves there, 41 appearances. Pretty much played in every single game goals. Costa there with 10 goals. Uh, his next closest was Cavalera and Bonatini with 6 and 8. But what a season for the Wolves and they probably could do that in real life to be honest. We're going just skimming through the squad report to see how everyone did in terms of stats but that has been the video. Wolverhampton Wanderers did stay in the Premier League in their return from the championship with the help of a few Portuguese wonder kids. If you guys did enjoy the video and think Wolverhampton Wanderers can stay in the Premier League next season, smack that like button. Subscribe if you want more FIFA 18 career mode videos on the regular. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys on the very next video.